Hello and welcome to the Six Acre Farmstead. Today is January 22nd, 2020. Uh, I want to give a quick update first and let you know that due to some uh, plans uh, changing that I am now able to go to the West Virginia Honey Bee Expo in Parkersburg. So this weekend I will be in Parkersburg attending the conference just like hopefully a few of you are. And I've already got, picked out a few of the classes that I want to attend. I'm going to go to the Queen Producers class. I'm going to go to the Snowgrove class and see what they got to say about that. I'm going to go to um, a couple other ones that I've got figured out. I just can't remember offhand what they are. Uh, took my own advice and I went ahead and contacted Daydont. And they actually have an order for me. So some of the things that I had purchased, um, there was no... It actually would involve freight if I bought them because I've spent over a few hundred dollars with Daydont and they're going to be have the packages there so I get free shipping there. So I'm going to go pick up some packages and maybe I'll make another video of some of the unboxing or basically some of the things that I picked up at the, the expo that I felt benefit me in my beekeeping here. Um, <clears throat> Basically, all I'm going to do right here, and we're not going to go, I'm not making a big video about this, is I'm, I'm going through my hive boxes, all my, these are my dead out colonies, and I'm going to go ahead and, and clean up all the burr comb that's between the frames, clean the boxes out, that's, um, and just make it a lot more easier for the future. I'm doing the main clean out today, uh, once the, all my super, my deeps are <coughs> done, then I'm going to go ahead and designate the frames later with my little thumbtacks. And maybe I will go over that and explain what I'm looking at at each frame and how I designate with thumbtacks for later use. But I have another video. Just check my, my former, uh, my prior videos that I have and talking about marking uh, dead out frames uh, with thumbtacks and explaining how I do that. But well, I'll go into more detail later in that. But one thing I want to do talk about is um, I got the, went ahead and put some hive bodies together. So I'm going to have more hives. And... One thing I would highly recommend if you don't do this is buy these little metal cleats uh, for all my hives. And some of these may not have them, and I got additional ones to do so. Uh, just for overlook when I was putting these things together. Uh, is spend money and buy these little metal cleats that go in there. They're about 25 cents a piece. Uh, so you need two of them, so 50 cents a hive. But they're going to make it a lot easier uh, when it comes to cleaning these things up. And especially when you're going in a hive and they got propolis and everything else, you can scrape it off. Because one of the worst things that, I, that I've noticed and I've dealt with in the past is you pop in frames and you're trying to clean up a lot of the burr comb or propolis that the bees have accumulated and you're gouging into the, the frame rest there and, and, and breaking pieces off. And I don't like to do any of that, have any uh, damage. This here hopefully will be a, a minor investment. It will make my boxes last a lot longer. And it's something I just want to talk about in a have you guys to think about or consider especially if you're going to the expo and they have the things out there you might want to pick up a few and uh install them into all your own colonies i know my all my eight frame boxes my uh my honey supers have nine frame spacers a whole different uh just makes it a lot easier for me to utilize those and it's just a whole different video concept for that so that's it for this video. Didn't really want to go into too much. Just want to let you know that I will be at the expo this weekend. Just look for me. I probably have my sage green on, and uh, it's in a few of the um, shows. I probably have my camcorder, my cell phone out, videoing and letting others know about the Honey Bee Expo and making and uh, making a video for myself or or for others to see what's all involved. That it it, it is a big uh, thing that they do. A big thing they put on. It's not just a small event. Uh, they look out for the beekeepers in the region <laughs> and it's a good time of the year to go where you're not really in your colonies you're looking to pick up a few things here or there just like i did and uh make it a worthwhile and, and planning for your 2020 honey beekeeping season so that's it for the video i'll talk to you guys later and uh i got other things in the pipeline and i'll we'll go from there so bye bye